Okay, folks, get ready. I'm going to show you who actually was behind September 11th, 2001. Anyone think they know who was actually behind that? I guarantee you this video is going to show you who and what was behind 9-11. We're going to cut through all the other nonsense, and we're going to get to the actual nitty-gritty. I guarantee it. Y'all want to see who did it? Watch this. Here you go. They had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in Greek tongue has the name Apollyon. That is Revelation 9, 11. Same as the date, September 11th, 9, 11. September is the ninth month of the 11th day, 9, 11. Okay, so they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit. Let me show you an email I got today. I, I, I'm not even sure how I got this, but this is going to blow your minds. Here is an invitation to go to Portraits of Courage, a Commander-in-Chief's tribute to America's warriors. Now, guys, I'm going to look at you right now. You're going to see at least three to five things you've never, ever known about the bombing of the Twin Towers. I guarantee it. Uh, Dave... Thanks, Dave. Dave saw some of this today, and then the Lord revealed it all to me. He just, boom, here it is. Here's who did 9-11. Y'all ready? Get ready. This is going to blow your minds. Okay, remember the largest altar in the world? What is it? What's the largest altar in the world? It's a dead sheep. Remember, it's the altar of St. Peter's, correct? Okay, I'm going to leave that right there. Get ready. Here we go. Portraits of Courage, growing out of President George W. Bush's personal commitment and ongoing work of the Bush's, Bush Institute's Military Service Initiative, Portraits of Courage brings together 66 full-color portraits and a four-panel mural painted by President Bush of 98 service members and veterans who have served our nation with honor since 9-11. See that, 9-11? That is not by accident. Here you go. Let me show you a quick video. I want everybody to have a clear understanding what happened in the classroom the day the towers were bombed, that George Bush was told, but he sat there for about eight minutes after he was notified the Twin Towers had been bombed and America was under attack. He sat there with second graders <laughs> like oh yeah oh, don't worry about the united states of america being destroyed right now it could have been a full-on continued attack but he sat there for eight minutes think about that let me show you who was really behind the attacks okay this osama bin laden or this person or that person nonsense we're gonna pull back the curtain just like toto did and we're going to show you the Wizard of Oz. Okay, watch this. This is just awesome. Busted. Busted. Get ready to read all these words on this page without making a mistake. Look at the letter at the end and remember the sound it makes. Get ready. Hi. Yes, hi. Get ready to read this word the fast way. Get ready. K. Yes, K. Sound it out. Get ready. Kate. Sound it out. Get ready. Kate. What word? Kate. Yes, kit. Boys and girls, sound this word out. Get ready. Steel. What word? Steel. Yes, steel. Read these words the fast way. Get ready. Play. Play. Yes, play. Get ready. Must. Yes, must. Let's read these words the fast way without making a mistake. Get ready. Cut. Yes, kite. Get ready. Kick. Yes, kit. Get ready. Steal. Yes, steal. Get ready. Play. Yes, play. Get ready. Mud. Yes, mud. Open your book up to lesson 60 on page 153. to see the Portrait of Courage uh, exhibit here at the Whitty Museum. And here it is. Just do a quick spin around. 
that's what's on the on the invite right there. I just very obvious. Anyway, so here I am at the exhibit. Very telling, very telling, absolutely unbelievable. What's here? Okay, so today I went to check out that art exhibit called Portraits of Courage that was in that short little video clip. You're about to see stuff you've never, ever known, never, ever seen, never been revealed before. Get ready. Here we go. Okay, Portraits of Courage done by George W. Bush. I want to emphasize George W. Bush was the president during the bombing of the Twin Towers, and he was run by the angel of the bottomless pit. I'm going to prove it. The same spirit that built the Vatican, that built the largest altar in the world, that made the largest altar in the world a dead sheep. I'm going to show it to you. The same spirit that controlled a guy named Alex at Starbucks, that drew a picture of me and put a dead sheep on the image he drew of me. I told Chris, the manager, Chris, I'll bet you a million dollars, Alex draws a picture of me, and when he does, he puts an image of a dead sheep on my face. Chris looked at me like I had lost my mind. A week and a half later, he did that exact same thing. He drew a picture of me, put a dead sheep on it. Here it is. Let me show you. Okay, so there's the picture of me that Alex did. There's the sheep he put right behind my ear. And then I'll just give you an image where I just colored it in to make it very simple for you to see. This is my spiritual gift. There it is. There's a dead sheep behind my ear with its tongue sticking out. George W. Bush, the president of the United States of America, during 9-11, September 11, 2001, did the exact same thing I just showed you. He, he, drew a, he did a painting of a service member, and he put a dead sheep on that service member. Here it is. I saw it instantly. Here's, here's the invitation. When I looked at it, I instantly saw it. There it is. There's the sheep right there. I'm going to rotate it for you, and I'm going to make it so obvious it would be impossible to miss it. By the way, I've looked at other images, other paintings he did. They're demonic. They've got the devil in them. They've got one eye green, one eye another way, different colors, uh, different hidden imagery in his paintings. The same exact thing. I decrypt all the time. George W. Bush. George, you never should have done any paintings around Jonathan Clark. I guarantee it. There you go. So here's the here's the top of the guy's head. I put an image of his sheep right here so you can see there it is. See, now we're just going to rotate it. I'm going to outline it for you now. I'm going to enlarge it right here. I'm going to outline it. Folks, I went and I looked at the exhibit myself. That I, I videotaped myself to prove I went to the exhibit. So I could see his brush strokes. I wanted to see his brush his brush strokes absolutely confirmed. His brush strokes go the exact direction they that the sheep's wool would go. He went against the grain on the face with the grain for the sheep's wool. Busted. Totally busted. Here it is. There you go. There's the sheep. Here's the sheep's head. The eyes right here. This is the top of the head. Here's the ear. Here's the back of the sheep going all the way down. And here's the like the chest of the sheep. There's the front leg. And there's a leg going down right there. There is a definitely a, de a sheep on this guy's face. Look at this one eye's black, one eye's green. Okay, now let me show you. Let me show you all the other stuff that's in the classroom on the day of 9-11. You're not going to believe this. That's unbelievable. Get ready. Okay, so now let's establish that sheep thing first. I'll take this sheep. Bam, there it is. There it is. There it is right there. Let's establish the brush strokes. I'm going to knock this thing out of the park. There the brush strokes are. There it is. There's the eye right there. Eye of the sheep. I even did a close-up on it. I went and made sure. There it is. He used. There it is. I watched the brush strokes. 
look at all the brush strokes going the same direction. See them? They're all going the same direction. Across the grain on the guy's head. In art, there's what's called movement. He made the movement the movement of sheep fur going the opposite direction of the guy's, you know, his face. Absolutely guaranteed. As guaranteed as the altar of St. Peter is a big dead sheep. We've been over that one a few times, haven't we? And the image of the Virgin. So there it is. So this guy right here, I want you all to really wrap your brain around this. This guy right here, sitting in that classroom on 9-11, reading this book, My Pet Goat, painted that picture of a U.S. serviceman with a dead sheep on him. Now you know who did the Twin Tower bombing. The angel of the bottomless pit did it, using humans as puppets. Told you so. That's what I've been trying to get across this whole time. The human race is only a puppet show. Now watch this. Get ready. This is going to blow your minds, folks. Get ready. Here's the city of Waco. It's a V with a star intersecting a V with a crescent moon. The two of V's intersecting make the letter W with a star and a crescent moon. When you turn this logo upside down, it makes 9-11. I'll just put it right here. You turn this upside down, it becomes 9-11. And it's the uterus birthing an upside down star, which is one of God's angels. I showed that to y'all on the five and a half hour video. Now, let me show you some pictures from September 11th, 2001. There's George Bush in the room. Look at what time, 9.06 a.m. is when the two of the, the second tower was hit at 9.06 a.m. 9.06 a.m. You know, like the Heineken commercial. Let me show you the Heineken commercial real quick. Let's do that real quick. Remember the Heineken commercial, folks? Yep, right here. He rang, look at what the number is on the door, six. Scarlet woman and scarlet saying, come to me, baby. Okay, there's the mistake. Now that... They throw him out of the party. What's the number on the wall behind him? Number 11. What's he do to the number six on the door? He turns it upside down. 9-11. There you go. Angel of the bottomless pit. Revelation 9, verse 11. They had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit. Apollyon. Let's go back. Here we go. So at 9.06 a.m., George W. Bush was sitting there reading My Pet Goat. But wait, folks, it gets better. <laughs> These guys, oh, busted. Check this out. Y'all remember the clothing line Broken Promises, right, with the scorpions on it and the word promises upside down? We'll look at that in just a second. Here we go. Okay, watch this. So there's George Bush. He's being informed now. That hey, the the twin tower, America is under attack. Right after the children read, plane must hit steel. Oh, by the way, a plane just hit all the steel, Mister President. I want to. I want you to look right here on the wall behind him. See this? See this picture? Look at that. This is a a, a female. She's darker in skin. She's black. And here is a lighter skinned black person with green. Wow, those look like devil horns. Let me show you who that is on the wall. Let me show you that that's by design. Let me show you who that is. That's Barack Obama and his whatever it is. I don't Michelle Michael Obama. He's called him Michael several times, and I've seen enough to convince me he's definitely a representation of Baphomet with boobs and a penis. Okay, so here is Bush being told, Yes, you're under attack. Here's Mich Michael or Michelle, whatever the case may be, and Barack Obama. So 
Here's a lighter colored one. And here's Michelle, Barack and Michelle right there on the wall. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is, this is no accident, folks. By design. Because the angel of the bottomless pit is coming up. Okay, so let me show you this. I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to hold this real quick, and I'm going to go like this. There you go. There's Barack and Michelle. There's Barack and Michelle. Just like this image right up here, there you go. There it is. There it is. That's it. Okay, now let's, uh, let's go back to here real quick. Okay, now... George Bush was reading a book called My Pet Goat, but it was right side up. Let me show you the little girl sitting in front of George Bush. Tell me if this is strange. Does that look like she's got a cross on the back of her head? It sure does. Look at that. Very strange. Now, this is My Pet Goat, I believe. But let me show you the other book George Bush was reading while a little girl was reading the same book right here let's have a look at this I don't think anybody ever caught this well they may have seen this but here you go watch no oh. it looks like her name is Lucy that's a U that's a C and that's a Y for sure it's more than likely Lucy look at this she's reading a book it says America look at George Bush he's reading the same book but it's upside down. That's because America is the sacrifice. They're going to turn this country upside down. It's planned by the angel of the bottomless pit. You can't stop it. It's going to happen no matter what. There's nothing you can do about it. It will come to pass. It has been planned out by the angel of the bottomless pit. The same one that bombed the Twin Towers on September 9th. 2001. He orchestrated all this. Let me show you something odd about the little girl reading that book next to George Bush. Let's enlarge it. Let's look right there on the wall. Behind her, why is the sigil of Baphomet right there on the wall behind her? Why do you have two upside down stars? There's one and there's one. And it sure looks like her name is Lucy. That's a U, C, and a Y. I can't get the first letter, but I don't know any other girl names that are four letters U-C-Y. I don't know any others. Here's the Statue of Liberty, which represents Lucifer holding the imprisoned lightning, like I showed you in that five-and-a-half-hour video. I told you. This is a bust. Time's up. Time's close. So anyway, watch this. More. There's more. So here's the sigil of Baphomet. Sigil of Baphomet. Here's Lucifer holding the imprisoned lightning on 9-11 with George Bush holding a book that says America upside down behind him with an image of a light colored black person and a darker colored female. And this one's got horns. Wonder what the odds of all this are. And it just so happens the same guy that's reading that book did this image right here, did this image right here of a serviceman with a dead sheep on his face. When I've been showing you guys the largest, and I, I, I myself have experienced someone doing a, an image of me with a dead sheep because the spirit that was running Alex it's the same spirit that's running George Bush that bombed the Twin Towers. And he was president, and he had the capability of getting it done. <laughs> Busted. That's who bombed the Twin Towers. It wasn't Osama bin Laden. It wasn't even George Bush. It was the angel of the bottomless pit. And he used a host body puppet system to do his bidding above ground. Because he's the God of this world. Proved it. It's proven. Look at that. There's a picture of me with the dead sheep on my face. I told her, I told Chris, Alex is going to do that. He's going to draw a picture of me with the dead sheep. And he did. 
There's Keith Richards in one of their videos. Has anybody seen my baby sitting on top of a gargoyle? But when you look at it from the side, it's a dead sheep with one eye open and one eye closed. If you're Ivy single, the whole body's full of light. They're mocking us. That's the all seen eye on that sheep. This is a no brainer. This is done. There's another image of me someone drew with a dead sheep on top of my head and a goat on the back. So this is a no brainer. This doesn't require intellectual thought. It just requires the ability to see with your heart. There it is. Largest alder in the world, dead sheep. Watch this. Okay, there you go. What does George Bush and the largest altar in the world have in common? Well, George Bush is drawing the same thing as the largest altar in the world on servicemen that's in his art show here in San Antonio. There it is. That is proven now. You're looking at it. It's not arguable. It was just proven right in front of your face. All glory to God. Time is coming. Woo yep. Uh, by the way, I got a new spatula from a friend of mine in the mail. And I believe I'm going to have an opportunity to use it. I think it's even bigger than my other one. <laughs> yeah, can you believe that? Can you believe what you just saw? That's insane. Yep, 9-11. Oh, my gosh. Unbelievable. It's all about killing sheep. See? See the sheep? This whole thing is about killing God's sheep. And God's sheep are God's children, the angels. Have I not said you are God's? Psalm 83. God's Elohim, angels, magistrates, judges. But you shall die like men. So you're angels, but you're going to die like men. You're going to fall like one of the princes. Totally scriptural. Not arguable. There it is. Okay, 906. Let's look at Broken. Let me show you these this clothing line real quick. Watch this. Absolutely staggering. Broken promises. Watch this. Remember what's above what's above the sheep's head. Remember? See this. Remember the vortex right here above the sheep's head? Yeah. All God's angels going into it. You turn it upside down, it becomes the female reproductive system. Wow, let's look. Oh, look at this girl's shirt. Broken promises. Oh, like that. You got birthed into the human flesh, and all your promises were broken by the one that you trusted. You quit trusting Dad, the Lord God, and you trusted Lucifer. The first thing that happened is you quit trusting your dad, our Father in Heaven. That's what happened. Let me show you some more Broken Promises t-shirts. Let's look at this one. They're really mocking us. Okay, there you go. Look what it says. T-H-E, hopeless. The hopeless. And they're talking about those of us that don't know everything's upside down and backwards. Why would you wear a shirt that says the hopeless backwards? Because they're saying we're hopeless. We have no hope. You're wrong. We're the ones that have hope. Y'all are the ones that are deep, deep, deep shite. Here you go. Broken promises. Because you got turned into a race of locusts from the pit with tails like scorpions. There it is. Watch. See the checkerboard scorpion? Broken promises. You get it? You were lied to. He was a liar and a murderer from the beginning. And he's the father of lies. Here's a lovely shirt you can buy at the store. I saw it the other day. Look what it says. Join or die. And those are the swords of Islam, and it's upside down. And they got their little number V, letter V, for the number five. There it is. This is proven out, folks. It's over. We are coming to the end of the road. George W. Bush. I repeat, George W. Bush is having an art show in San Antonio. Here it is. I went to it just to make sure. 
and he put a dead sheep on a serviceman. Unbelievable. I'm going to hold the sheep. There it is. Irrefutable. Not even refutable. Not even close to refutable. There it is. Busted. All right, folks. All glory to God. Did y'all know that Qatar is building a new stadium for the 2020 uh, World Cup? Would y'all like to see it? Did y'all see the stadium for the Rio Olympics? Do y'all remember what the many of the headlines were for the Rio Olympics stadium? It's a giant vagina, exclaims World, watching Olympic opening ceremonies. There's the Olympic Stadium right there in Rio. I'm sorry. Here's what this article says, not Jonathan Clack, but the article. Did you catch last night's Olympic opening ceremony? Michael Phelps was the U.S. flag bearer at his first opening ceremony in five Olympics. His sleep schedule conflicted with the other four games. It was colorful, moving, included athletes from 214 countries. Uh, <clears throat> there was dancing, sambas, and a lecture on global warming. And best of all, Rio de Janeiro's <laughs> Maracana Stadium was lit up like a giant vagina. Yep, you heard right. Brazil celebrated its culture, including happy people who are content despite the fact they're just a little, little living poverty. Yep, it was a giant vagina. Let me show you Qatar's new stadium. Uh, let's see if we can get to that. Here you go. Here's Qatar's new stadium. And this is not my opinion. This is an article. Here you go. Qatar designs stadium for, tw I'm sorry, for 2022 World Cup that looks a lot like a vagina. Wow. <laughs> I told you. You turn the virgin upside down and he equals a dead sheep. George W. Bush, the President of the United States of America, sitting in a classroom reading My Pet Goat and a book America upside down, while a little girl has it right side up, is sitting with a picture of a light-skinned black guy that has devil horns and a darker-skinned black woman together while the Twin Towers are bombed at 9.06. Yeah, it's probably just a coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> and that's probably really just a warped hockey puck. My bad. <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyway, there you go, folks. There it is. And it just so happens a little girl is framed up right between two sigil of Baphomets on each side of her, and just by weird coincidence, with the Statue of Liberty holding the imprisoned lightning in a penis. Okay? Done. <laughs> Nothing like destroying Satan's kingdom. I just love it. Take that, dude. Get up. Let's do it again. All right, there you go. There it is. No arguing with it. All right, thanks for watching. <laughs>